Sorry. Hold on, sorry. Look at this book real quick. Look, wait. Hold on there. Look, it's a, um, it's a, it's a 12 cell phone, right? Wait, let me show you something. Right. That's nice. You can be there for Um, um, Amazon. Hold on. Wait, look at this. Oh, it's, like, it's got all the stuff, right? It's got questions all up here. Let me see. All up here, it's got questions. It's got all the steps. Like, but it got all these questions. We got, like, 20 questions. Nice. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
these insidious behaviors, all right? How do we how do we protect or guard ourselves from an insidious disease or people in general? How do we, how do we fight it? Something that's insidious. Pray. Pray. Very good. Stay away. Meeting. Boundaries. Meetings. Very good. Know yourself and boundaries. Know Sponsor. yourself and boundaries. Very good. Any anybody else? Come Sponsor. on. Huh? Sponsor. Sponsor. Very good. Steps. Steps. Don't huh? Just don't bother it. Don't bother it. Good. Don't, don't pick up. <laughs> don't pick up. Okay. Insidious. Number two, cunning. Plotter, inventing, devising, executing. Artful, slick, tricky, skill, and deception. And what? Maneuvering. Cunning. It's a plotter. Cunning, inventing schemes. Cunning, devising the schemes. Cunning, executing the schemes. Cunning, artful on scheming. Cunning, slick when I scheme. When I when I scheme. Cunning, real tricky. Cunning, deceptive. Maneuvering. Cunning. The disease of addiction is all of this. Cunning. Once again, how do we fight something that's cunning? And how does dope con um, con you? How do perks con you? How about pain medications? How was that a setup, a trap? Come on, we listening. I was 11 years old, and I had um, und undiagnosed Lyme's disease. Uh, in the 90s, they didn't know much about it. Uh, I went from being an athlete to being really sick. Me, and my brother, and my mom. Mm -hmm. And I uh, was really in a lot of pain. Mm -hmm. and, uh, doctors, my doctor meant well. He did. But then um, uh, I was prescribed a little Percocet. And Darvaset, and mm -hmm. I liked it. I liked it, and I didn't stop taking it till I was 22. Not only that, I started taking. Uh, I, I had migraines, like whooping bad migraines, and I would get shots of Demerol until I started saying, telling them at the hospital that what's that medication that they give me usually? It starts with a D, but you know it usually doesn't work. Mm -hmm. Um, what? It, well, well, what is it? She, they, they would say, um, Depakote? No, what is it? De, de, is it Demerol? No, that doesn't work so much. Uh, we're going to have to give you the lot of them. <laughs> oh, yeah, that worked before. <laughs> Two shots. They, uh, my head still hurts. Another shot. I'm walking up and down the hallway. Yeah, I feel better. They're like your daughter's drug seeking. No, she's legitimately sick. Look, I didn't even know I was drug seeking. I didn't even know you could get sick. Mm -hmm. Lack of understanding, lack of knowledge. Is, you know, I, I had no idea. Mm -hmm. I started sniffing dope by the time I was 14 years old um, because somebody told me that the pills I was taking was exactly like heroin. And I threw it up. That, that, that's pretty cunning, like, you think you're doing what's right with the doctors and then a couple of years later. Mm -hmm. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh. 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 How much time you have clean, sis? Who me? Give it give it to her, y'all. God bless. How about baffling? To confuse, bewilder, perplex. To frustrate, to struggle ineffectively, to struggle ineffectively, baffling, perplex is to cause to be what? Puzzled over what is not understood or uncertain. Baffling, cunning and insidious. Three major giants on what? That forms the disease of addiction. All right? How about laziness? Yep. Yeah. Anybody lazy? Mm -hmm. How does that feed these elements right here that cause me to what? Get high again. Anybody yeah. lazy? Anybody procrastinate? No. All right. Anybody want to talk about that? How can I get us high again? Being lazy. Well, I mean, in the past, I, was, I, I procrastinated doing the steps. I procrastinated getting a sponsor. Mm -hmm. And it always let me back to getting high. Mm -hmm. And we said, oh, I'll try to get a sponsor. I'll go to a meeting next time. Or I'm going to go to work uh, um, early. I'm going to do this overtime. So, and I get, you know, I, I, instead of going to a meeting, 
when I didn't need the extra money, you know, well, everybody needs extra money, but I didn't like need it, need, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. <laughs> instead of getting sponsored, or I'm just gonna stay home and watch TV instead of going to a meeting. Mm -hmm. And it just, no, where it let me, let me back the way on fucking car. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Everybody hear that? Oh, that's where it let mm -hmm. this time, like, right? On fucking cardboard at a bank parking lot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, instead of, that's what me being lazy. Okay, thank you for sharing that. How much time you got, Clay? One month a day. One month a day, y'all. Yeah. All bless. Yeah. How y'all doing, ladies? Hi, how are you? All hey, right. How you okay, what's up? Everybody good? Yeah. We talking about insidious, cunning, and baffling. All right, recovery 101. We was talking about what feeds these type of elements that make us what? Lose. When we trying to what? Recover. Laziness is one. Procrastination. Is that the same thing as laziness? Yeah. No, laziness. No. Procrastination just puts stuff off. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Anybody procrastinating? It can be lazy, though. Yeah. Okay. Come on. What's your name? Lisa Marines. Hey, Miss Lisa. What's up? Uh, well, I'm procrastinating getting out of here because I really have nowhere to go, to be honest. Mm -hmm. That's real. When are you leaving? I don't know. <laughs> I got nowhere to go. Yeah. I have no idea. Like the fear of the unknown. Okay. Fear That's what's dark. making me procrastinate. Okay. Everybody hear that? Fear of the unknown is making her procrastinate. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. So um, listen, we got, we got a couple of recovery programs for you. All right. You see your therapist on Monday? Your counselor? Do I see her? Yeah. Uh, like, oh, I just now started to see her. Yeah. And I had Chiquita and now I have Pam. Okay. Pam is awesome. So okay, Pam is awesome. I say, I put uh, in for um, Mercy Hospice. Okay. So, like, I need some help getting into there. Okay. Like, okay. you know what I mean? I never applied there before or anything. Gosh, thank like, you. Yeah. Okay. So, so. Everybody hear that? That's when, you, you know, your prayer really kicks in and your faith and your hope. Holding on. All right? Also, Mercy Hospice is good. Interim House is good. Interim right? House? Interim House. That's like Germantown. Right, and they got one out. Um, yeah, Germantown. What about and self? I give you, I give you, give you the number for that, huh? Self. Eighth and your Oh, okay. that's like a shelter. Yeah. Houses move fast though. Yeah, that's, that's self. what I'm saying. Yeah, because I'm triple one status. What, what you, what you think about self? That's Is good. Right? That's good. Houses fast. Yeah, they move like houses move for like three or four months, huh? Yeah, they got new so townhouses. They just self, built. You hear that, sis? You hear what she just said? Yeah, they got she, new townhouses housing they just built there too. Yeah, that's self. Yeah, yeah. Are right. oh, you triple one status? She said she's triple one. You triple I one? I don't know what that is. That's just like chronically homeless. I am triple one. You're homeless for years. My yeah. Yeah. And you check, check in and let people know about points. Are they like yeah, check, in check in with um, outreach? Right. Yeah, but listen, you can check in with them while you're here. Yeah. Oh, really? You can call, yes, you can call outreach while you're yeah. here. And check in. And get your, yeah, you, it's yeah, yeah. Your status. And how yeah. far apart does the second one have to be in the third what? one? What? Good one. question. She said when you call once. Yeah, yeah, no, you can call every day. So call every day? Yeah, you call every day. You hear that? She said call every day. Every day. Call downtown, that what you said too? Yeah, you call downtown yeah. every day. Yeah, you call downtown every day. Y'all got the number? Yeah. Yeah. All right. You hear that, Ms. Lee? Yeah. All right. So yeah. why you so why you looking for a recovery program? You could be calling also. Call all right. So I don't understand. Like this is all new to me. I understand. Right? Like, when you when you homeless. I'm a sponge. Let me. Okay. When you like I was saying, when you homeless, it's a number that you can call and let them know that you're homeless yeah. and that you're building your status to the tri triple one status. Triple one status. They the front of the line of housing. Yes, and you're and it's Ocean. not just like a a, a temporary. Ocean. It's not temporary Ocean. section yeah. eight. It's indefinite. Like you have it forever. So just, just you, you just call up this. It's, wait a minute. Is that easy? That's like, what I was thinking. This, I don't think I've been home. I've been trying to get through. No, it takes no. a long time to get what, on there. Really? Come right. on, everybody no. needs to get on there. No, listen. No. I don't know. Listen, I don't know how it is with the call and this. I just know with COVID, it's. It's yeah. different. Right, right, true. Going on got, They're going to give an appointment. It's different now with the COVID. But I know I've been home for 10 years. Okay, all right. Come on, what you yeah. saying, sis? Right here. What you saying? Okay, you call down there. You let them know your information. They're going to give you a day to come in. They're going to tell you. You got to get there early in the morning. You gotta That's pretty really the one you're talking about. You got to get there. About the other it's called a contact. Contact, right. right. Yeah. Get that food, right. get that food. Right. Right. What a contact. Talking about why she's here. She okay. can't go while she's here. You can go while you right here. Carrie you can go down there. They'll bring you back here on time. 
Okay, but for for why you here, you gotta keep calling it. Every yes, day. and it's making a contact. It's called a contact. Sure contact right. Keep contact. They'll they'll make sure your count here. I'll make sure you get the call call them them every call morning call. while you here. You gotta okay, call them. Just keep keep, keep in contact. What's up, ladies? Come on down. Come on down. Good to okay. see y'all. All right. Hey, 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 you you here. All right, y'all. Come on, let's get back on track, y'all. All right, bring him back. Yeah. Come on, let's get back on track. Yeah, right. Say yeah. happy birthday to the birthday Good. girl. Where's she at? Right there with the glasses right there. What's your name? Sarah. 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 Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Sarah. Happy birthday to you. How many times you got, Sarah? Happy All right. How much time you got, Kelly, Sarah? Two. Give it to her, y'all. Clean on my Hi. birthday. Hey. God bless you. All right. Sarah, since you're the birthday girl, they get you the next question. All right? <laughs> All right. So we talked about what? Laziness and procrastination, right? That can feed what? The insidiousness, the cunning, and the baffling of our disease. This is number one. How about anger? You get angry? What is not understood? You're passive aggressive when you get angry, okay? <laughs> Okay. Like I just let a lot of things go, and, but when I do get angry, so you suppress, like then you explode. Yeah. Anybody hear that? When she gets angry, she, she kicks down, down doors. doors. She kicks down doors. Knocks down buildings. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Hey, who saw the movie I Spit on Your Grave? Oh. 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 One was the best. Which one? One is yeah. the best. Yeah. Because yeah. the way they got her. She, she got, got them. them. Yeah. And Insidious, how they act like was coming to help her, but they came to what? Take advantage yeah. of her. Yeah. yeah. That's how the disease of addiction yeah, moves. That movie? It's Insidious. Yeah. I spit on your grave. Yeah, that movie's yeah. old, too. Yes. yes. But the first was Dirty the best. Movie. First was the best. She, she gets the Thank you for sharing that, Sarah. Oh. The anger piece, all right? Suppress, passive aggressive. All right. How about plotting and scheming? How many ladies here sneaky? <laughs> I'm talking about that being sneaky. I used to be. Can I get us high? What's your name right here? With the pink shirt on. Becky? Jackie. Jack, how you doing, Jackie? You still sneaky? Yeah. Like what? Like you got food in your room? Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, I smoke. I smoke. You smoke the cigarettes in your room? God, yeah. Okay. I'm most certainly not telling you. She said she going to give up all the tapes. All right, Nixon. Come on, let's go. Nixon. <laughs> All right, come on, we're listening. Yeah, sneaky. I'm definitely sneaky. Mm -hmm. All right. You working on that? I am working on that. All right. Is that important, y'all, for her to work on it, being sneaky? No, but, like, seriously, though, like, I'm pretty honest, like, here. But out there, I'm definitely scheming. Okay. Yeah. Do you understand how we practice is how we play? Yeah. Is that important? It is. Right, exactly. So we got to really just check our behaviors, right? Yeah. Because how we practice in here is how we play out there. So yeah. we play in here, we can die out there. All right? Thanks for sharing that. Keep exposing. Keep giving up those tapes. You hear me? Yeah. All right. How much time you got clean? Oh, shit. Um, I've been here, I think, since the third. Oh, this month? Yeah. How much time is that, y'all? Give it to all. All right. God bless. So insidious. Cunning, baffling, laziness, anger, procrastination. It's another one. Lying. Decepticons. Decepticons. Anybody feel like getting high? No. Come on. That's why we're here. That's the most important question ever. Whatever is the most important question. Behind. Come on. Yeah. Um, Got you next. Go I'm, not, I'm, I'm not right now, but... Um, like a week ago, and every intermittently, every once in a while, I feel like doing coke. Mm -hmm. Yes. I feel mm -hmm. like uh, either smoking it or. or it. Anybody hear that? Yeah. And okay. It's not even my number one drug of choice, but it's my second. Like I used to do them together, you know. Mm -hmm. Not to, I don't want to talk so much about sure. it, but you know, speedballs, and I, and I kind of miss them. Mm -hmm. I do. I miss them, but not enough to destroy my life. Or Very good. That's how John Belushi died. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, you know, Captain Smith, Robin my Williams. You know, Robin Williams my and Robert De Niro was with him the night he died. Yes. When they left the hotel room, that's when John Bush died. 
Robin Williams never got over it, and that was the cause of his problems all his life. Yeah. Wow. I don't like about that. Yeah. 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 He said as soon as he um, was off like camera, he would just yep. change. He was totally like so different, like just yeah. sad. Like you could Robin Williams you know, never got over that. Everybody yep. else had it, but it was trying because he because he himself was. Uh -huh. was like Robin Williams was a big cokehead. Yeah, 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 I heard, yeah. And alcoholic. Make sure yeah. that's this. Yeah. Behind you. You, you want to get high too? What's stopping you from getting high? Me? Yeah. Me. P.O. Your P.O.? My son, my three year old. Uh huh. You know, um, how more he got, he don't have his dad. Uh huh. And I refuse for him to be a statistic. Like right now, our black, our black men are dying. Mm -hmm. They're dying left and right. And you know, my son, his name is Munir. That means royalty in Arabic. Mm -hmm. And if I don't do nothing right in this world, I'm gonna raise him the right way. He will be honorable. And I, I named him royalty for a reason. You know what I mean? He's three years old, and he will not be a statistic. And I know he's the, mm -hmm. he's dependent on me. Mm -hmm. He he's dependent on me because he don't have his father. So it's like, mom, I need you to do all, all I got. You can't do this to me. And my parents, they've been married for 31 years. Mm -hmm. And I've always had them. And they raised me better than that. You know what I mean? I can't let my son do it. That would be so selfish of me. Mm -hmm. And that hurt that I would cause them, I would never be able to forgive myself. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it's just like a little thing like that I've been thinking of. Um... Not to say that I don't want to get high because I'm, I'm battling with that demon every day. Every day. And it's not even the dope, it's the crack. That shit is the devil. Mm -hmm. The devil. I don't wish that shit on my worst enemy. I cry about it all the time because you, it's like it, I never had something have control over me like that. And I don't know where to turn. What to do no more? It's like I surrender. I surrender. Mm -hmm. Well, I just need help, and I'm begging. I'm begging to help. Like at this point, I'm begging God for help. I'm begging the Lord, like to help me remove the sickness from from me. My son needs me. He needs me. Mm -hmm. He needs me. He needs me. And I remember when I had a speedball. I had a seizure. I was seizing out for like 10 minutes. And the whole time in my head is like, I was unconscious, but I was conscious in my head. Mm -hmm. I was out of my head. Um, like I felt, it's like I felt, you know, I felt this, this, this spirit pulling, pulling my soul out of my body. Like, you know, like really pulling it out of my body. Like I was about to die. And I was just praying in my head. Like, just please don't take me away from my son. God, please don't take me away from my son. Please, please, I'm sorry. Just please don't take me away from my son. Give me one more chance. Please do not take me away from my son. I remember that. He didn't take me away from my son. Mm -hmm. I held on. I held on. And it's because of my son. How much time you clean up? 13 days. Give it to her, y'all. Yes. Okay. I have a sister named Karima. She's Muslim. Her mother passed from the disease of addiction and her brother. And she got her like a couple sponsees and said, I'm pretty sure she would love to sponsor you. Hmm. All right. And you can, you know, give her a call and she can start, you know, helping you out while you in here. Okay. Because she just had a daughter too. And the same struggles you fighting with, she's fighting. She she fight, she for them, and she's winning. And you winning too. All right, it's not gonna be ISIS. Right. You hear me? I don't want to leave him. He's great. He don't understand. Who got him now? Oh. My mom and dad, but I'm not gonna always have that help. Right. And he need me. You like getting high? I don't like it. Don't like it. Coke is mental. Yep. Dope That's is physical. Saying, it's yeah. mental part. Right. You gotta fight it. That means you gotta clean your mind out. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, you gotta take one. bring take that take the Quran up there, that Soros, the Ayats, the Big Book, the NA text, and clean out that what our dirty minds. We got to brainwash. You. Right, brainwash. brainwash the right yes. Way. The beginning to be a point. As selfish as this may sound, but 
But it's not selfish. You can't even do that shit for your kids. You got to do it for you. But see, our kids, some, for some of us, is a jump start to get started. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We'll start yeah. for our kids. We say, I'm doing it for my kids. But eventually, yeah. the more you stay in the step work and just do the process, you wind up doing it for you. Because when you do it for you, you want to make it do it for everybody. Everybody get touched when you stay clean. Yeah. You follow me? Her name is Karima. I'm going to give you the number before um, we leave out of here tonight, today. All right? So you can give her a call. And I let her know that, you know, you're going to be calling her. All right? So you have some support. It's like gonna be all right, sis. Tell them, like, you know, every time I talk to a man, you know, whether we, we, you know, I'm kissing them, hugging them, telling them I love them, whatever. I just always tell them it's always gonna be mommy and son. Mommy will never leave you. Mm -hmm. Because that was like, you always think things can't happen to you. Mm -hmm. But when that happened, it was like, it happened to me, right? <laughs> I never expected for something like that to happen to me. Because, see, I got nine siblings, two deceased. Mm -hmm. Two of my brothers that got killed. My youngest brother got killed at 17. And when they lowered his, when they lowered his casket in the ground, I realized when I was 19, nothing go with you. None of this, the materialistic thing is never going to go with you. And that's when I, would, I started doing good in life. How you know, um, I got a condo, I got a 2017 car, I got a real nice car, like, I, I was doing good, and then two hospitals at one time, I was doing good, I was always that, that one, that, I, I did everything my parents wanted me to do, like, my mom, she only got me and my little brother, but my dad, the one with, the, with all the kids, but, him and my mom been married for 31 years, and my four siblings, they just lost their mom. And she was on crack all her life. And I can't imagine that feeling like they just lost their mom. You know, and, and that pain that they felt, you know, when they when they lost their mom, like I don't like him to explain it that. But I'm all he got. Cause he don't understand that. He won't ever be able to understand that. Well, he's three, so you got time. Fine, but you got time. It was also, when I was running around in Kansas City, when I just had my run, the, 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 the hurt, I, the pain I caused my parents, my mom, she had a heart attack. They was looking for me after they had Kansas and They would come down there driving around looking for me. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, I had to go to court because my dad didn't talk to me in a couple of days. My mom and the man talked to me in a couple of days. My dad flew down to CJC to let them know I was in rehab so I would have a warrant. That's a lot of love. Mm -hmm. That's a lot. Mm -hmm. And I want to be that parent. That, that love unconditional. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Listen, listen this may, look at this right here. It's the beginning of the what? Of greatness. All right? For real. It's time. Ah, oh, man. Thank you for saying that, sis. Right, I'm going to give you the number. Sis right here in the back. You said you wanted to get out to? What's stopping you? Um, my son. Your son? Okay. How old is your son? All right. How much time you got clean? Uh, oh, hey, time. Give it to her, y'all. God bless. Is there another, another group coming in after this? Yeah. Can I stay here so I can copy the notes? Oh, shit. Oh, I, I, I ain't the one to say. Yeah. I love y'all. Who woke us up, y'all? Yeah. Uh, you accept the things you, thing you cannot change. change. The courage to change the things you can. And the wisdom to know the difference. God's will, not ours, be done. Amen. Hey, sis, come in. Uh -huh. You got a piece of paper for housing? Can I just stay here long term? But it turned you down? So when they say you want to, you know. Okay. So what do you want me to do? How do you want me to help you? Is there any way you can help me with who I can call and things I can say? Probably your insurance. Because it's usually, yeah. it's usually yeah. sure. I need that. All right, Mama. God bless you. All right. Hey there. Okay, you're welcome. Can I get the number for the um the housing, housing thing you were telling me about? Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Right. Hey, Jack. Me too. Can I get the number? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, 
She said, call I'm this. I'm coming. Wait for me, Brick. Call, she said, OSHA. O-S-H-A, right? Yeah. Call OSHA. That's on Cherry Street. Oh, you got to go to the shelter? It's contacts. She got Y'all know that they do got this posted up at the desk it's upstairs. Said, yeah, it's Ten contacts, okay? Here's the program right here called Mercy Hospice. You know about Mercy Hospice? I'm in here. Yeah. Okay. Right. Mercy Hospice. Oh, yeah? So did I. Congratulations. All right. Interim House. I heard that the house is good. Oh, well, I'm in. Liberté. We, he's a, we know about this. I'm in here. Liberté. Uh, what's another one? Um, oh, oh you better come in. Right, I got right. a paper here, with all these Call places. Me. Call me. Your phone back on, right? No, no. No, it's still broke. All right, we got to go. The men coming in. All right, yes, me. Yeah. All right, Derek. I just want to say All right, love you, Mama. Stay strong, okay? All right. I heard you can, you know, call Mercy Hospice. But I, when I tried to do that before, they told me that they said, you got to go through OAS. Even though I know the people down there, yeah, I don't have I don't have that much power. <laughs> yes, you do. When <laughs> you get made to ground shape. Can I have Karima number? Huh? Karima number. Oh, Karima. Yeah, can I have her number? Hey. What's up, y'all? Am I gonna get that football? Um, oh man, let me see. If I can.